Hello there and welcome to a new week for my hobby streak. Today is 2084 and I'm going to continue work on the Pegasus. And I'm also going to continue with the Blob and Pyro from Marvel Crisis Protocol. I'm just going to finish the painting today for the Pegasus. I'm going to do the transfers and fix that base um, tomorrow. So it's just a matter of doing the gold and uh, finishing off all that livery that's around uh, the base. I also do the teeth and the tongue as well. I don't have enough time to fix the base, unfortunately, today, um, but I uh, I think I'm going to magnetize the, the one that's broken, so I also need to search my magnets, and I have no idea where they are. The blob and pyro are coming along quite nicely, um, and I should be able to get most of them done, maybe except their bases tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to fix the base tomorrow and probably do the transfers, but I'll do that in the evening, I think, for the uh, Pegasus. Um, when I've got a bit of free time. So all in all, a good start to the week. Painting's finished on one, a little bit of repair to be done, and the other two should be finished tomorrow. Fingers crossed. A couple of packages arrived. The first one coming from Games Workshop directly. Um, it's the cards for the uh, Blood Bowl gnomes. I will pick up the actual gnomes themselves and the treatment eventually. And the second package was from Firestorm Games which inside contained some matte black spray, which I am in desperate need of, um, and I have been for quite some time. And because um, you've got to play courier delivery for sprays and things like that in the UK, I also thought I'd pick up um, Bishop and Nightcrawler for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Today is day 2085, and I'm gonna get most of these guys, uh, the, the Marvel Crisis Protocol, Pyro and Blob, finished. I won't get them completely finished, however, because um, I got a little bit later than I should have done today. I didn't sleep well last night at all, so I'm a little bit groggy as well, which isn't good. Uh, but I started things off by finishing off the red on Pyro. Finished the blobs yellow and then start to paint the flesh. And that was as far as that would take me today. Both of these guys are very simplistic models, but again, it's just because I'm a, a little bit slow today because I'm a little bit tired. I didn't sleep well last night whatsoever. Um, and again, I'm, I'm pretty groggy today, so. But they're pretty much finished now. It's just like the bracelets on the blob um, and just like a few details on the face, like the eyes and the skin and the hair and Pyro's flame and bases and then they'll be done. I have found myself with a little bit more uh, spare time as well. So I'm going to put the transfers on the Pegasuses and I'm also going to sort out this incredibly annoying break. I'm going to magnetize it um, instead of just re-gluing it because I want to be able to actually take the Pegasus off or travel. It didn't take long to add the transfer. This is a very simple process. Um, I do actually have the process up on a video on my channel if you want to check that out. And then I went ahead and uh, attempted to remove the little bit that actually broken inside the, um, the Pegasus, but it wouldn't come out. So in the end, I had to file it down. And uh, well, the, kind of, the results aren't... 100% perfect, but they're not really noticeable from most angles. The most important thing is that the flying base and the Pegasus uh, can now be uh, you know, used once again. And with that, the Pegasus are finished. Um, they're out of the way. I still need to paint the, uh, the, the, the knights, obviously, but now I've got some spray to actually spray them up, which is great. And uh, the Blob and Pyro, as I said earlier, nearly finished, look fantastic, can't wait to finish them off tomorrow. Today is 2086 and I'm going to finish off the Blob and Pyro uh, from Marvel Crisis Protocol, excuse that squeak. And I'm also going to start the Knights for the Pegasus as, as well. It didn't take too long to uh, sort out the Blob and Pyro, in fact it only took a, uh, an hour in total because there wasn't really much left to do, it was just like the hair and a few minor details on the pair. And then it's just a matter of basing them. Um, I've finished the video. The video hopefully should be up tomorrow. Uh, yes, Thursday tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, so it should be up tomorrow. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. As for the nights, because I was a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to be, um, I only really managed to do the silver on those guys, because naturally I had to wait for a wash to dry. So... I thought I'd start the next project as well, which is the Masters of the Universe Battleground Panthor and Skeletor um, set. 
I did have to sit there for like five minutes trying to work out what colors I used for um, the other Skeletor that I painted because I honestly don't actually have a clue. So I settled on some Cantor blue and I'm gonna try and work my way out from there. If they're a little bit different, it's not too much of a bother because I don't think they're gonna be on the battlefield together anyway, so. I also had to remember that I needed to paint um, Skeletor's little tootsies um, on the base because when I did He-Man, um, I like missed his faff to begin with. So it's like a big faff having to color match that. This shouldn't take too long at all, and hopefully I'll have everything I'm actually currently working on finished by the end of the week. They're both very small projects, to be fair, with not much detail. So, very happy with the Blob and Pyro. I think they look pretty neat and nifty. <laughs> and for the others, well, they're barely started, um, but again, they shouldn't take too long. I'm going to mostly focus on the, the Pegasus stuff tomorrow, and if I've got any washes to wait for, then I'll sort out some more on Skeletor and Panther. Today is 2087 and I'm going to get as much done on these guys as I can. I started off finishing off the silver. At first I did actually try a little dry brush, and, uh, but then eventually I just went ahead and actually used a smaller dry brush because the, uh, the dry brush I was using is not um, isn't that really great to be honest, so I went for a lot smaller. And after that I started work on the red, which basically took me up to the rest of my two hours. Um, so. Not much done, but quite a lot done because um, the vast majority of them are red. So they're nearly finished. I'll definitely be finished tomorrow. In other words, there's not really much to talk about today. Um, I am happy with the way they've come out. I'm also going to film some more stuff for Instagram and TikTok, etc, etc. Um, and then hopefully these guys will be finished and I'll be able to get their video up uh, next week because today I'm going to try and finish off the blob and the uh, pyro video. Um, yeah. Good day today. Today is 2088 and I'm going to finish off the Knights for the Pegasus. There's not much left to do, it's just basically all the gubbins and stuff that's surrounding them and the top of their helmets. Um, I started with basically the leather parts to get those out of the way because they would need a, I need a quick wash um, in between things. So I sort of, then sorted that out, sorted out the black. And then carried on and finished off the gold. All in all, only took about an hour and a half to do that. The rest was basically fiddling around and sorting out the um, transfers and then actually gluing them to their bases. And of course, by bases, I actually mean gluing them to their mounts. Um, I'm not going to sort out their bases because, again, I still don't have any stir, um, uh, stir mud, sterling mud. I can't remember how. I never remember that name. Um, Still need to pick some up. Every time I order anything, uh, I completely forget that I need to order some of those. Anyway, there we are. That's uh, another unit finished, or mostly finished, just for, except for the bases. And I'm very happy with them. And the paint guide for them should be up tomorrow, fingers crossed. Today is day 2089, and I'm going to stick together the Bishop and Nightcrawler set from Marvel Crisis Protocol. I only have half an hour today, um, you see, so that's all I really have time to do. Before I get started though, Atomic Mass Games really gets on my wick with all this constant um, here's every single language you need in Europe. They claim it's a cuss cutting measure, uh, which I find that hard to believe because they don't actually put the instructions anymore um, with the thing, you have to go to their website. And the reason they claim um, this is to save money, but even though each set you buy has a custom sheet, personally I just think it's absolutely insane and, and, and this can't cannot be a cost cutting measure because most of these cars are now going to go in the bin because I don't need them. So anyway, uh, enough of that. I clipped all the bits off that I was uh, that I needed to. There's a little Banff uh, thing for Nightcrawler, as you can see there. I decided not to use that rather than actually have it on because I've got it for Deadpool where it says like boom or zoom or something, I can't remember. Um, but Deadpool, it breaks the fourth wall, so it made more sense. With, with Nightcrawler, not so much. If you follow my channel for a while, you'll know that putting stuff together is my least favorite thing. Um, mostly because I, I, I buy too much. It's the honest answer. I have too much. That's that's the real reason. Is I have too much and it takes too long to do it. So there, that, I just, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the real reason, I imagine. But both models are absolutely fantastic. I really, really like them. And this Skeletor and, uh, and, and, um, Panthor, I'm going to continue work with those tomorrow. 
Today is 2090 and I'm going to do some more work on uh, Skeletor and Panthor here. First thing I did was finish off Skeletor's skin. Um, kind of regret having such a deep, dark base coat as I did because it took uh, quite a few layers to get it uh, nice and bright. But here's what it is. We got there in the end. Um, and then we got to the stage where he's nearly complete, basically. Uh, I gave him a wash. Um, and there's not much to do for him left tomorrow. Just to highlight the purple and then uh, just a few more details on obviously his face. And uh, Panther was the same, really. I finished off all his fur. I decided to do kind of a light dry brush. Um, well, it's, it's kind of an overbrush more than a more dry brush just to get a sort of a, a more furry look. And then basically I moved on to his saddle and gave it a wash. And that's as far as I can go today. Um, Skeletor was still a little bit wet in places and I don't want to mess that up. And obviously... Panthor's uh, still wet. Um, all in all, quite happy with how things have gone. Do wish I, like I said, do wish I, uh, I hadn't started so dark with Skeletor. All in all, it's been a pretty good week. We're another unit down for uh, the Bretonians. That leaves three left to do, um, but I need some more spray. I need some white spray for those. Um, very happy with the way they've come out. If you watch the videos, um, the the paint guides. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you I hope you enjoy them. I hope they help. Really happy with the blob and pyro. Actually love those miniatures, and of course Skeletor is well on his way. Should be done tomorrow, to be honest. Uh, being optimistic. Um, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, um, and I hope you subscribe. I uh, give us a, a thumbs up, and um, well. I will see you next time. Bye for now.